Hey guys, this is Formulka with that episode of Crusader Kings 2 as Bohemia. Just off the screen I prepared some guys for my future counts. I've bribed a little bit, a lot actually, so I used up a little bit of my money on them and others as I tried to just get them to uh, agree to get into my realm. So we will need them really soon. And that's because we are going to attack Ilkhanite. If you remember the war where we are helping Byzantine Empire, we like crushed all these defenses. So we should be able to grab this piece really easily. So it's a huge, huge empire. So this may go poorly, but I think they had almost nothing later and maybe almost sure they're fighting the Golden Horde, which is insanely huge amount of troops. So that's why I did it. The next thing I did is I actually purchased a DLC that <laughs> enabled pretty news. Yes, uh, this was the Rome re DLC which brought you the game. Like any game, you didn't have to purchase it. <laughs> you gained the factions. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the best bad part and the best good p good part are the retinues. But to make them work, you actually need to purchase the DLC. I'm not sure, it's Rome something, <laughs> I forgot already. And retinues are basically your standing army, you can have them risen when you are declaring wars, they cost nothing, as long as they are at full strength. And we can build a crap ton of them right now, which I will do right away. So, also, the hordes are heavily using the horse archers. So the best defense, what I've learned, is the heavy infantry because they have an ability against that. Some shield wall or something or a chance that they will use it. So I will grab the heavy infantry, guys, 10 of them. It will, I will bleed money. You, you will not believe how much I will actually bleed money. But this war will last only short time and then we will drop one of these guys. We, we need them, we need them for the, for the war because we want to rush all of these. And six of the horses, because they have horsemen and it feels like I need them as well. <laughs> Maybe entirely wrong, but I will just do it. Six. And see, I only have 500 gold right now. So I think I will go for the half reinforcement rate, which is still kind of kind of bit of money. Only seven gold, but we, remember, we are already at negative. And yeah, we will let them sit there. And that every single one of these guys will grow up to be a 500 man. So uh, this will be 8,000 8, and this will be a free army which we will have around all the time. And of course like the other rules can bring them up as well. So you know, another thing I learned, I was actually learning something and see this Hylova. Ascanian, she's cranky because she wants the control of the, these three counties and I thought like I do I have to revoke the titles from the counts and give them to her? That's not the case. She just wants to control the counts that are there. So we can transfer Vazalic. The game luckily for us puts them on the top. So it's Timark, Znoimo and Pasal. These are like her de jure lieges, uh, vassals. So she just desires them. And because she's ambitious, that's insane malus. And she's just so mad. She wants to become a king of Bohemia. That's insane. But we will just give her the, the counts. All of them. All three of them. And this should instantly switch her around. See? And <laughs> we have one good duke as well. Another one. Uh, he wants the control of counties still. He isn't ambitious so I think I will give him the county which will make him less mad and again I can just transfer Vazalich of the Count of Lubush I think he uh, yeah I've lost a guy the Chancellor but we can just grab a Duke who wants to become Chancellor anyway so we have another happy Duke as well and he will start fabricating the claims on Pomerania because we want that piece. We want all the pieces so we can take over Denmark. Okay, so this isn't all. I think there was one more I can give away. Yeah, he does he wants the control of the county of Seratsko uh Leskie, 
but I just don't feel like it because he's ambitious and that's the huge issue I have with that guy. So I will not give him this county. I will maybe even provoke him later, maybe in the next episode to just rise up and so I can uh, release, no, like, <laughs> take his take his title. Then, that's a good thing, another one that I learned. Okay, he hates me already. If I revoke his title, it will be minus 80. Minus 80 for him and nothing should really go for the others if he is a traitor. But this means we will never swoop him around on our side. But... If we just gift him as a vassal to some of the dukes, he controls the county of Kuyavi. So he is his, yeah, he is the duke. But he, if he d give his duchy title to someone else, someone content, some content, content count, he will become his vassal and he will drop off from this. So the duke will have to deal with him, not me. So that's my plan for the future. But right now, the first. First thing, as we prepared our retinues, is attacking this empire, actually. This little little boy, and you will grab this from him. And you will just see how quick this... Uh, it should be quick, that's what I should say. It should be really quick, because this, if you remember, we already pre-destroyed the, the defenses that he had there. And of course, we don't need to raise up anything else, of course. The Basilos will join. I did it mostly for his vision, so I can see. So you crash this army, which is nothing really. Oh, technology. Oh, I can build even more retinues. It's actually great that I was heavily investing in this. Like I can't afford them right now. I need at least a little bit of money. But well, I will research this to increase the morale of everyone. And after that, I think I will go with improvements for to these three, four guys. I don't really need the shipbuilding, but I will spend up there. Anything else I can pick up? Let's grab this. It's almost finished as well. And that should be it. Okay, so now for the first battle, we have to wait a little while. But then it will be a tornado. Nice. Great job. Convert all of them. Like we converted these guys. And right now they just return to... To the Golden Horde, actually. <laughs> ah, that army. That's as I'm waiting. I can talk about this. This will take uh, the longest. The, the next ones we can just rush really quickly. See, this was like pre-beaten up. So <laughs> this is even smaller, and the next one will be even even smaller. Eventually, you'll just have to clash with this. I've noticed that they have this guy only. The air is actually not his dynastic air. If we and if we are able to kill this ba this this child, this should break the whole golden horde apart at least for a while and give us some breathing room. He has no wife, on the other hand, and I have a daughter. So I could bethrone him. How old is he? <laughs> okay, he's <laughs> he's gauge of one, so that bethrone will do nothing. And he would he wouldn't even take it because must not marry an marry an infidel. Well, that would be another option. Of course, the other option is one hundred and thirty one guys to kill this doomstack. <laughs> Which is almost impossible because this I'm past it's okay. Let's we can even use the retinues <laughs> for the first time. Bleeding money? Uh, not that much. We can keep this keep this up for a while. I will raise my personal levies. I think I will leave the retinues behind though. <laughs> so they grow to their full strength and I don't have to pay them. <laughs> so we will just leave them there. But later we can just use them instead of our personal levies. Even, even then I think my personal levies are like just cheaper. Who do you want? She's just my courtier. And this is by Master of Sweden. Very well. I'm not sure why do you want to... Oh, these are ours? Oh god, I have some... something not given away. Haha, <laughs> boom. 8 out of 7. I wonder why there wasn't like that... that thingy. Oh, I'm leading these troops? No, I'm leading the these guys, so... Yes. 
And we are going for the next county, we defeated that tiny stack, there's only 400 guys there, so we will just rush them down and scooge them. And believe me guys, that I spent, that, I don't know, 20 minutes at least picking up these guys. Because I was just searching for some, I, I will talk about this when we get to give, maybe eventually giving away the titles. I'm, I'm like almost sure that this will happen, and I have one on top of that as well. Oh, I'm not rushing, that's why. It's only 100 men there. 19. 21. Rush. Yes, so we are already at 26... 20, 65%. And that's without even seeing any of their armies. <laughs> so, yeah, we can do this. Nice, the money. That's the best I know. Saved me. Jihad for Mauritania. Oh well, doesn't really concern me that much. Not sure what's, why it's taking so long. Why isn't he like rushing these sieges to take it over? It's kind of weird. 88% by the way. This will be 93%. Are you reasonable, child? No. Really? Oh, well, let's, let's do it in the next, <laughs> next county then. 93, I was like expecting, half expecting him to like just go for it. He's not, he's not sure. Mm, we will lose somebody there. So I think let's, let's deal with the, with the rebels first. Oh, they, yeah, they are there. Oh, oh, he's taking it back. That's why. But this, killing this army. It will give me enough war score. It's 93% already, guys. Like, I'm almost sure. <gasps> Come on, give me the, the percentage. Boom. They're at 95. Still no. Okay, let's rush this. You have to wait. I guess they are preparing if it's like a castle. Regent. Okay. Countess Heike. Heike. Died of pneumonia, okay. Why did it select the whole kingdom? Not sure. But we are rushing this down. I don't care about the mercs. All I care about is the percentage points, which this should me give like 8%, which is 100. Right? Yes. So, mister, let's give me what's rightfully my. And now let's give away the stuff right away so we don't get the penalty for too, too long. All of this shall be given away. And well, we kind of moved to that county, but we would have to deal with the rebels anyway in the end. So it wasn't that big of a loss. And we, we just took this from him in, in a heartbeat. Okay, this I think is all of it. And now it's time to use my new soon to be muscles. I have. Yeah, he's already at my court, so I can just grant him the title. And he's also fighting. Oh, I forgot. Is he already 1500? The retinues. We are losing so much right now. Yeah, my personal armies are <laughs> costing something. Oops. Mm, yeah, I will drop the small stack. Do I want to do? I can keep this up for a while. Do I have a war? I will I'll figure it out after this. Now, giving away the stuff. This guy, he's already my courtier. He has no no claims. He's my liege. He has no, nobody basically can inherit this from him and take it away. So I will grant him the title of, for example, this with all of the other ones. I don't want to carry with the barons. So he's a count. Sadly, he's not content, but I, I can't really uh, choose right now. <laughs> There's like nobody who wants to. He has a claim, but it's only on a county, so he will hate this do this count, but it should be, shouldn't matter to me. And he's not ambitious, so he will be granted. No, he will be. Oh, he's not going to. That bastard. I think I've already sent him the money. Uh, 
That's awkward. I should have like invited to the court. I didn't want to do it off the screen. I should have done it right on, at the start of the episode. Okay, let's send him the gift. And you what? Oh God, that's because I I I okay okay. You have to find just one one more, or I will give it to my content counts. Another one. Who is just doesn't work, Boresh? Yes, at least he will come. He has no titles. He is not ambitious. He's perfect. And that man of Tachov. Yes. He is good intrigue, which may be a double edged sword, but we'll invite him as well. This which means we will still have to deal with three. And I will give it away to the content counts I have at my realm, basically. And this was him. Yes, he is my courtier. I will grant him and the title of. Oh uh, no, I will save this one for someone else. <laughs> like my son. See, even this is taking so much time that... Like... Boom. Nice. And... Herman. Herman... Uh, come on. Get to me. Nice. And he's Bohemian as well, which is a rare, rare trait. Grant on the title, he has no claims on anything. So I will give him county of Crimea. A lower Dnieper. By, by the way, I think it's a river. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't like the generic stuff. And the Demesna too big is also an issue with all of them. So he's not bad. So I can just unstar these guys. And now let's give away, we have to give away three more. Which means he hates me it's because the Demesna is too big. Just, that's the issue. So at my own court, this guy, he's not ambitious. He has no bad stuff. So I guess I will just give it away to him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. So he will gain that peninsula or like land bridge, oh, it's a piece of a peninsula. Boom. Ah. Well, he's Italian, that's why he doesn't particularly like me. But he doesn't hate me. He actually likes me only because I've given him something. I'm not even sure how he ended up at my court. But that's like the last one, and we still have to give away two more. I will not go through this, even though this should be this would be the best best option. I will go through the vassals, the ones that love me, the counts, and where are you? There. The ones with the content trait. This guy. Ah, he's Prince Bishop, so he's not. Hey, like, can I give him a county without that damned thing? He's content as well. He has only one county, he has claim on another. But he's content, so he's just fine. Pretty good stewardship, so you will be given another county. The county of... Olvia. I will include all the lower titles. Which will make him ecstatic. And we can just burn the last one on our heir. Who is a count, I think? Yes. I think he's already also content. <laughs> he already has two counties, but it doesn't really matter. When I become him, I will gain all these counties to myself. So I will grant him on the title and he will gain uh, the biggest one with the, all the other titles included. And this should help with some of the vassal op opinion. Yeah, still it's still three counts, but these are like the counts from the Poland and they just... Yeah, they are, that's, that's their way. <laughs> So, this war ended, I was just talking about dropping the mercs, so I will drop the smaller bunch, because they cost the same amount of money. For some reason it only shows... Yeah, it's. I think it's com combined, I'm not sure why it's showing the combined cost up here. You'll see, it's the same number. 
all three. By the way, just drop these guys. Yes. And yeah, you'll keep this. Should, uh, yeah, when, as soon as. Oh, nice. Patient nature to everyone. Oh, great. I've gained patient. I want to keep that. It's like. Nice. I. Yeah, it's because I gained <laughs> patient. It popped up to 8. So I can pick another ambition and I will go with improve learning. Not sure what's that worth. But yeah, so give us some prestige as well, and it will take a lot of time. 1800 already. So, we will pull these guys back, especially if he is going to attack me. I want them to be safe. <laughs> Great, he's been beaten down. So, we will lower the levies. And now we should be almost like balanced out. This is still with, I think, the levies risen. It's actually 17, we are making 30. So combined with the retinue, this should be like an income actually. So I will boost the retinue growth. And you'll see. If it doesn't work, we'll just drop it to the half again. See, it's 10 only. And we can keep this up for quite some time, especially if we get some of these to fire up. I think I had uh, the truces expiring. Sadly, they are not still big enough for us to like uh, well, replace the mercs we've just lost. Also, isn't there something? Oh, I've already did that. Mm, child, child, child likes a guardian. Like, making her ambitious, <laughs> like it will make him a little bit less cranky, but it will just not, not help enough. Let's train them in diplomacy. Great eminence, yes, Valentin, mayor of Wallin. He's Danish, he looks Danish. <laughs> okay, she doesn't like that, but I don't care. We have no titles lost in secession. I can, I think, attack her. No, we still have troops, but I don't want to do it because they devoured the kingdom, sadly. But I don't think they can do the same to us. We are bigger. But Lithuania? Still not. Still have to wait like a year. Which I did hold the grand tournament already, yeah. Invite that promising nobleman to court to aid matters of meditation. How much does it cost? Stuart. Like this is another option to gain guys uh, for your counties. I should try it the next time when I'm shopping around. Indulgent for my sins. Oh, I don't need to do that. Uh, anyone I can release? They are. They have no claims. Nothing. Oh, she has some claims. Yeah, like from the Elkanite. So I can just ransom her out. And ransom all of them. I don't need them in the prison. He's he's captain of something. Hmm. Just the Burgundian company. Isn't it? Wait a second. No, this is the white company. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of... Um, it was kind of weird. Okay, we can ransom him for 10 gold. Boom. Um, oh, this guy. No. So you are going to stay there. I can even execute them. Nobody will care because they are infidels. 60,000 men. Pretty cool army. Don't you, don't you say, guys. <laughs> Okay, I think now that we have all this administrative stuff out of the way, it's a good time to end the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this episode, please like it, thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know something. As you have seen, I have learning constantly. Maybe you have another better idea for me. So, again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye-bye.